Hey guys, I'm John Place and today I'm going to do my very first product review ever. The product I'm going to review today is the Pro Air Hybrid Professional Airbrush Makeup by Show Off's Body Art. This stuff is amazing on so many levels. It was created by artists for artists. There are two types of paints available, the hybrid and the ink. Today I have the hybrid in the studio, so I won't be talking much about the ink version. One of the really cool things about this product is the packaging. How many times have you accidentally mixed two different types of airbrush paints together? It's a nightmare. I remember for Halloween, I had hybrids and I had water base and I mixed them together. I had them in weird jars that weren't labeled properly and I mixed them together and I'm wondering why isn't my paint coming out? I kept clogging my guns. I went through six different guns, every single one of them that got clogged until I realized, oh wow, I mixed two different types of paints, that's the problem. So I had to stop everything, clean out six guns, and if you have airbrushes and you've ever cleaned out your guns, you know it doesn't happen instantly, it takes a little while. So I have people waiting in my chair to do zombie effects for Halloween parties they're trying to get to, and I'm fumbling around with my guns, it was a nightmare, and I was very stressed, and with Pro Air, they fix all that for you. What they do is for the hybrids, they put them in a bottle with a blue label, in a white cap, and for the ink version, they put it in a bottle with a green label and a black cap. So that way you'll always know, even if the lid is off, which paint you're working with, either the blue label or the green label. So that makes it very easy. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over a few key points about this paint, and then we're gonna run it through some airbrush guns and see the vibrance and the color of the Pro Air Hybrid Professional Makeup. Okay, so one of the first things I want to talk about is that these hybrid paints are mostly used for the face and for tattoos. The reason why is your walking faces won't smudge or smear when applied correctly. And that's because Pro Air is water repellent, but easily removable by rubbing liquid soap first and then washing off with water. Okay, so Pro Air is FDA safe and made with cosmetic face and skin ingredients. There are 26 colors available. I only have 10 of them here in the studio with me today, but I've seen the other colors and they are as amazing as these are. Pro Air has very little pigment settling, so you won't get hard clumps in the bottom of the bottle that'll clog your guns. All right, another cool thing about Pro Air is that you can even hand brush paint with the richer pigment colors. So if you're not an airbrush artist, you can still do freehand tattoos that will stay on for days. Now, I know one question you're all asking is how do these paints smell? They smell fantastically delicious, I'm telling you, okay? They have a sweet smell, a cross between green apples and bubble gum. Oh, and let me also mention that when you spray the paint, it doesn't create a fog in the room. You know, I've painted a lot to where you walk into a room where people, or especially one or two artists are painting, and there's like a, like a fog. And I know I've had it before where um, I, I was actually taking photos in the same room, and in the photos they all had a haze because the room was full of a fog. So that's another cool thing. If you're taking photos, the room won't fill up with fog with these. All right, so let's get to the best part of all, the price. Other brands of hybrid paints cost about $18 to $25 for a two ounce bottle. Pro Air Hybrid Professional Airbrush Makeup costs only $15 for the two ounce bottle and $26 for the four ounce bottle. And that's why their slogan is, buy Pro Air with money to spare. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's see it on some skin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a couple colors through this. This isn't a class. I'm not going to show you designs or how to create things. I'm just going to run the paint through the gun. to will show you how smooth it comes out. The PSI, I believe I have it on a 15 PSI. Um, I noticed with a lot of the other paints I was using, I had to go to a higher PSI because the paint was a lot thicker. So this is very liquidy. It's very watery. So it'll come out smoother. It'll pour. Uh, it's, it's like water. I mean, it comes out very, 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 very thin. So let's do that. Let's just, uh, this is black. Um, you know, black pretty much in all the colors is pretty solid. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but let me just, uh, let me just run it. Look at that. It comes out nice and smooth. You know, if you want to do sharp, you know, nice, nice lines. Three lines. It comes out nice and smooth. And really, it doesn't take much. If I had uh, another design on here, I could cover it easily you know, without any effort, without having to go over it twice. And again, this is only about 15 PSI, and it comes out nicely. See a nice smooth coverage. Okay. okay, let's do white. White is hard. There's a lot of paints I use, and I have to go over and over and over with white to get a nice solid white. 
Okay. Um, again, it's at 15 or so PSI. And here's the black. And let me just put some white. Look at this. I'll even go over the black. My gun's a little... There you go. Look at that. It actually covers the black. That, that's hard to do with some other paints. Look at that. And I didn't have to go over it twice. It's pretty much just that one shot and it went over the black. All right. Now I'll do a couple colors just to show you how... Actually, yeah, I'll do a couple colors, show you how vibrant that is, and then I'll show you how water repellent this is. And, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, so next I'll do red. Let's put in the red. Um, this is called blood red. All right. Uh, we'll do this. We'll go over the white and we'll go over the black and see what it looks like. Sometimes when you go over white, it comes out to be pink. Um, so we're going to see how this works. Let's do it. Nice and red. Let's do black. Again, sometimes you can't go over black because you know, it's black. So let's see how this looks. Not too bad, not too bad. Looks really good over the white though. Okay, so I have the flow yellow here. So let's see what this looks like. And let's do it here by itself first. Ooh. That's pretty. It's nice and bright. I hope the green screen doesn't uh, take away from it. In fact, let's do it like this, just in case the green screen. But I don't know, can you see that? I hope so, because it is bright yellow. It's a fluorescent. It's really nice. Well, let's look at this over the white also. You see that? I hope so. Looks nice. So anyway, I'm not going to go through all of the colors. I just want to show you how smooth it comes out, how deep and very well pigmented all the colors are. I mean, you know, these are, they come out really nice. All right, so what's cool about the hybrid is that the person you put it on won't sweat it off. It won't come off if it you know, gets a little bit wet. You know, normal paints, when you sponge it on using stencils or anything like that, as soon as it gets wet, your design's completely destroyed. This, I mean, look at how much water I'm putting on there. Whoops, look at that. You know, the water's still clean. It's not coming off dirty. In fact, here, I'm gonna use my, my thumb. It's nice and clean, you see that? Watch this. Still nice and clean. I don't know if you can see that. Now watch this. We'll take a, well, I would normally probably use a clean paper towel, but we'll just take this dirty one. And you know, we'll just kind of dab it off, wipe it. Look, I'm actually wiping this. You can hear it. See that? And it's still there. Nicely. Okay. But now you're like, well, how do you take it off then? If I just used water and look at that, I'm you know, you can scrub it and it'll slowly start to come off. But if you just take some dish soap or bathroom soap and just start rubbing it in, it'll break it all up and you just rinse it off with water and it'll come off. All right, so another point that I mentioned earlier is that with the higher pigment paints, you can actually brush them on. So if you're an awesome artist and that's your thing, this stuff's for you. I'm not an awesome artist. I can do some swirls and teardrops and things like that. So that's all I will do. Whoops, I went a little crazy, dipped it in there kind of deep. That's okay, but watch this. So I just dip it into the black and watch this. Look at that. See, so if, especially if you're a tribal kind of person, you like to do tribals, things like that. I mean, this paint goes on nice. And like I said, what's cool is it'll last, so, you know, you want to do you know, swirls, and teardrops, and go that way, see, it's there, and like I said, once it dries, I'll do it this way, speed up the process. You can spray it, and it's not gonna go anywhere. Your tribal tattoo is gonna last all day. And I know I've already told you this, but this stuff smells so good. Mmm. I probably shouldn't be sniffing it like this because I'm gonna feel real good in a little while, but man. And the smell I noticed, if you smell it straight out of the bottle, it's, it smells really strong. But once you start spraying it and, you know, 
but it starts getting into the air, that's when you really smell. In fact, somebody came in here a few minutes ago while I was shooting um, with the light saying, recording, do not enter. They walked on in and they're like, hmm, that smells pretty good. What is that, green apples? I was like, exactly. So it must work, okay? Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the ProWear Hybrid Professional Airbrush Makeup. If you have any further questions about this product, please visit www.showoffsbodyart.com. Also, if you have a product you'd like me to talk about, please send me an email at john at greenboxstudios.com. Again, I'm John Place, and I approve this product. See you next time.